And we're going to do another follow-on video where we talk about why these alleged victims who are making false allegations are so believable, why the system is, why there's a system that's put in place to make people very, very believable when they're actually not, and why that's such a challenge for trial lawyers. But the reality is there are so many opportunities to prevent a false accusation. If a false accusation has happened to you already, you can't go back in time. You may say, you know, Tim, you know, Mike, you're absolutely right. I put myself in this situation, but I didn't do this. At that point in time, you need to get serious representation, get someone who knows knows these factors, that knows how to see through the BS, that knows how to win these cases at trial. You can't go back and, you know, regret. You may have regrets, but don't put yourself in the victim category. Put yourself in the victor category. Because when you come into my office, when you get on the phone with me or get on the phone with, with you, Mike, I want someone that wants to win more than I do. I don't want someone that says, oh, the Army's screwing me, they're screwing me, I'm going to go to jail. I want someone that's going to come in and say, you know, sir, I've made some really bad decisions. I didn't do what I'm accused of, and I don't care what it's going to take, but I'm going to fight this with all I have. That's the client that I'm going to represent. That's the client, Mike, when I get 10 or you know, five or six or seven calls in a week, all want to represent me, and I, I can only take on so many cases. I want that individual who is also not going to be a victim, but it's going to be a victor, because I don't like representing people who it's everyone else's problem but their own. Let's come together, solve the problem, get serious about it, and go win this thing.